friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, it's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm actually going to be talking about some books that I wish I had read in this year of 2020. They were just books that I didn't get a chance to get to and i slightly sad about that, but I'm definitely hoping to get to them next year. So we're just gonna dive right in and get started. So the first book I have that actually was a book I was so, so excited to pick up in 2020 and didn't get a chance to do it. I don't even know why. I don't have any excuses ready for you, but that is The Damned by Renee Adier. <laughs> I was so excited for this book because I really love The Beautiful, but I still haven't picked it up and I just, I can't tell you why. I think it was just timing and my nerves, but I'm definitely hoping to pick this up next year. I'm actually going to be buddy reading this with a friend in January, so look out for my January TBR. This picks up where The Beautiful left off. I'm definitely not gonna give spoilers, but from where The Beautiful ended, I am so looking forward to see what happens next. I'm really anxious too because it really left you on a cliffhanger, but like an emotional one because you didn't really know what was gonna happen next. And I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to seeing what is going to go on in the story. Also, the third one just got announced for 2021, so definitely need to be reading this uh, before that even comes out so I can get caught up. Next book I have on this list is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. So I have been super excited to check this book out. It sounds like it's really good. I've heard really good reviews for the most part. So I was actually really excited to check this out. I just didn't get a chance to really pick it up this year. So again, definitely hoping next year will be the time for this. From what I understand, this is a Cinderella retelling, but obviously black and queer. And I am definitely looking forward to seeing how this is portrayed because I honestly haven't really read a lot of Cinderella retellings, surprisingly. So I'm definitely trying to get more into that, I guess, like retellings in general and seeing how I feel about them. And next is actually a book I started and then put down because I was in a slump and I didn't want my slump to ruin it. And that is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas. I, again, was in a slump when I started this and I f didn't really want my slump to ruin my view of this so I decided to just put it down for now and to pick it up next year when I was back in my reading groove so that is my plan I'm hoping to maybe pick it up this summer and just dive right into it and see how I really feel about it hopefully I won't have any more slumps next year and I can have some good reading grooves going on. So from what I understand this is about a girl named Bryce whose best friend is murdered and she basically goes on a hunt with a fallen angel of some sort to find her best friend's killer. That's as much as I know so I am definitely looking forward to trying this again and picking it up. Next book I have here is Grown by Tiffany Jackson. This was another book I was definitely looking forward to reading this fall. I I am slowly getting into Tiffany Jackson's work so I kind of want to read her some of her previous books before I pick this up just because I'm a weirdo like that but from what I understand this is about a girl who gets sucked into the music business and realizes that she is being groomed and one night she wakes up with a dead body next to her and so I guess it's kind of like a compilation of all of that and her figuring out what happened. I know Tiffany Jackson said this kind of was inspired by the R. Kelly cases, which I am definitely um, intrigued to see how this plays out. And honestly, this cover is just so gorgeous anyways, so 
definitely looking forward to making this a priority for next year. The next book I have here is Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tody Tomi Adiemi. This is the second book to Children's of Blood and Bone. I loved the first one, so I'm definitely looking forward to picking this up. I think I might have to skim the first one though, just to remember everything that happened to be able to move on to this one because uh, it's been a minute and my mind is clouded with other things. But from what I've heard, this one is just as good as the first one, maybe even a little better. So I'm intrigued to see what happens next for Zelly and the crew. And the next book I have here is There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole. It gives me Six of Crows vibes. I'm just going to read the synopsis to you because I really don't know how to describe it. So, for generations, the seven prophets used their visions of the future to end wars and unite nations until the day 100 years ago when they disappeared. All they left behind was one final secret prophecy foretelling an age of darkness and the birth of a new prophet who could be the world's salvation or the cause of its destruction. With chaos on the horizon, five lives are set on a collision course. A prince exiled from his kingdom, a ruthless killer known as the Pale Hand, a once faithful leader torn between his duty and his heart, a reckless gambler with the power to find anything or anyone, and a dying girl on the verge of giving up. One of them, or all of them, could break the world. Will they be savior or destroyer? So that just sounds really intriguing. This is just really pretty in general with the cold all around. And so I'm definitely looking forward to picking this up because I've heard such good things from a majority of people about it. And the next book I have here is Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. I actually started this as a buddy read at the beginning of this year. And then because of just how emotional this summer was for me I decided to put it down and I am so sad that I didn't get to like pick it back up and finish it but I'm hoping next year that I can actually make this a priority to finish because I was enjoying what I was reading and I definitely want to fall in love with it like everybody else has. In case you don't know this is about a girl who is a gumiho which is a fox a nine-tailed fox and they're mystical creatures and she survives on the souls of men. And so she runs into this boy at this new school she transfers to and he actually gets a hold of her bead which is basically like something tying to her life. She has to figure out a way to get it back from him and from there they get intertwined into the story together. I'm definitely looking forward to diving more into this and seeing where the story goes. Alrighty so that is my list of books that I wish I had read this year. Hopefully I can definitely move on to them next year. If you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all of that down below in the comment section. If you're not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. You're all sunflowers in a world full of wits.